Why, hello everyone! Welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door on Playframe and the Boggly Tree which we're leaving. Come on, Gumbella. We got a crystal star to turn into a door. Or to, you know, to show to a door. We're not turning the star into a door. Well, we are, but... Let's go. Oh. Hey, hear that? Someone's mailing you. Oh. Let me check the email. On my Game Boy Advance SP. Which has internet functionality, you will recall. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Oh, isn't that sweet, Mario? I agree. I like how much more character we get out of- okay, hold on. A moment, please. How much character we get out of Paper Peach and Paper Bowser and all these other characters? In a JRPG where they're expected to use a lot of words. Let's see. Let's real quick, I want to see what- we don't have to use it, I just want to see what Clock Out is. Immobilizes all enemies for a short period of time, and still only costs 2 SP, that's pretty cool. Nice. Earth Trimmer as well. I have not been using that often enough, especially considering I'm using stylish moves to get all this stuff back. I didn't want to, like, overspend it, but this seems like a great situation, like a great time to do it. Earth Trimmer. And I still don't think I've done it with perfect timing yet, so let's try again. Uh -huh. I'm pretty good at this. It keeps going. I didn't realize it went that long. Wow, okay, yeah, that can do a lot more damage than I realized when you do it well. <laughs> Good move! Anyway. Stop hunting me. Leave me alone. Ah! Get out of here! As I was saying, I don't remember what I was saying. Ah! And you're done. You know what, we've seen all the enemies out here, let's just keep Coops out. First thing, when I get back to Rogueport, I'm buying that charm badge, whatever, that's going to let me swap out team members in battle. Because then, like, I've been keeping Goombella in, uh, like, following Mario, just so we've got Tattle as a first move all the time. Just out of necessity, but now, uh, I'm not- it's not gonna cost me a move to get Goombella back out for a Tattle when needed, so... We can actually be accompanied by some of our other buddies. Hear some more of their dialogue now and then. And Koops' voice is just fun. Also, heck, I can think of at least one place around here where we can use Madame Flurry's ability. Like, at least one. I feel like I've seen two in this underside area here. One of them's, like, right over here. Hold on. You know what, Coops? Stick around. There we go. Getting better at that. So, someone in comments mentioned uh, that stylish moves all involve the A button, no other buttons, which is very helpful to know because uh, it, it's just a matter of timing then. And so that's some fun exploration to do. Um, oh, that counts. Okay. What's back here? Let's try it from this side. Ooh! A goodie. 
Happy heart peace. Slowly and automatically restore HP in battle for the ally. Oh, that's nice too. Man, it's going to be pretty tough picking which badges to remove in order to uh, clear space for that partner swapping one. But we're doing it. Let's go pick it up now. Apparently there's a bad shop in Rogueport as well that I just... Wait, that's not it. That I just forgot about? We'll have to look into that. Dazzle. Guess what? I have so many of these little pieces now. Give me the quick change, please. I'll trade quick change for sweet, sweet star pieces. How does eight sound? Expensive, but... You need 7 BP to wear this badge, okay, guy? Boy, that's expensive, too. Are you sure you want it? Yeah. Hey, guy. Come on, now. Don't we... Uh, can't we trade some more? I want to see what's in the other shop first. What? Change your mind? Thanks to you, guy. My star piece collection has grown. Maybe we can trade again sometime, yeah? Maybe so, Dazzle. I can't remember if the badge shop... I know the one new guy with a rotating uh, inventory in town trades for money. I don't know about the other badge shop. We're going to find out. Actually... Oops. Congratulations, buddy. You're getting promoted. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Interesting. So... Can't increase your rank anymore. I'm guessing that's just because either I don't have enough shine sprites or you have to like hit a certain point of progression in the game before you're allowed to go higher rank. Whatever. Coops. You can use Shell Shield to protect Mario. Wow, maybe you would be a good tank. You can use Lip Lock to hurt foes and replenish HP. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm curious. Shall I power up this partner? Shazibi! Shazubi! <laughs> I really like Koops' dorky little collared shirt. Little button-up shirt. Or hoodie. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. I guess it's a hoodie, isn't it? I was reading the top of his shell as, like, how Koopa shells usually look, but they've sort of integrated the top of the hoodie into that to have it have the same look, I just realized. Which is very clever. So it's a short sleeve hoodie? Koops, what are you wearing? How does, like, how has Koopy Koo not fixed this in you yet? I think I'm hanging out with Goombella too much. We need to spend more time with you, Koops. I'm getting too critical. Hello, what's going on here? Brother? Care to explain? Or perhaps regale? Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty not so, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes, please. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Oh, please tell me of Rumblebump Volcano. I want nothing more. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit. To scare them off, you know. But as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey is a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that would make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100-foot-tall statue that stomped around. Now, the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now, I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. 
So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy tr uh, stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of this marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. So I set sail once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be headed back out soon. <laughs> I saw someone suggest, I can't remember if it was comments or the Discord, that, like, whenever they do finally uh, port the Thousand Year Door to something you can play it on now, and they will eventually, I would. it would be so fun if, as a pack-in bonus, they also included, like, a B-side <laughs> smaller game that is Luigi's adventure, Adventures, the ones he's describing here, that you could play. I'd love it. Or if Nintendo wasn't so, like, just strict about, like, bringing down the law on fan games. What an incredible, like, fan mod of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door that would be. Anyway, if you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Can we talk to, um... Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm going to make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. Well, Luigi, watch your back. I was wondering about the coloration on you, but that does explain a few things. Stay safe out there. So, how am I doing? Eh, don't need the inn. Could check in with you, though. Hey, 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 oh, I've got all the hottest new products right here. Double pain doubles the damage Mario takes. Wow. What a steal. Booze sheet makes you invisible, so attacks against you miss. Wow. That... Seems a little broken. Uh, temporarily immobilizes all enemies. Pretty cool. I mean, I gotta see about this one. Oh, you got yourself some expensive taste, my man. The surprisingly low price for this booze sheet is only 24 coins. Wanna buy it? May oh, I bet it's an item, not a badge. Hey, oh, thanks very much. That isn't the last of my hot, hot products, though. Wanna buy another? Nah, not right now, but thank you. Hey, let's see if our special ordered contact lens has arrived yet. Is that what you're here for? Hey, value customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Fantastic. Because I'm guessing the white hot rage just outside has not cooled. An aid for poor vision. Does Mario really need this? Yes, apparently. I'm going to need 10 coins for that contact lens. You want to buy it, fella? Thanks, fella. Thank you. Um, I feel like I could use more health recovery items. I guess we've got HP drain, but none of these are going to help me. I'll grab another of these for the road. I guess you're storing a mushroom for me. Or two. Couldn't hurt. I wonder if there's anything back here. There is not. So, guess what I bought? Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? I did. A contact lens! Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. You don't look it, but... Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. I do stomp on a lot of things. So, um... Oh, so it's you again, huh? Mr. Stomp-a-lot. Well, my name is Zesty. 
I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients, my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip up something for you right now? Now, what ingredients would you like me to cook with? Well, I've heard good things about heating up mushrooms, so, uh... Okay, I'll cook up your mushroom. I'm gonna mix these up for you, so just wait a sec. doodle dee doo da You always look very stern. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but... Go on, take it, Stompy. A shroom fry. A tasty dish made by Zesty replenishes 6 HP and 2 FP. Oh, wow, that's great. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with, okay? I'd love to. Well, shall I cook something for you? Um, goodness, now I'm just curious. What else? Cook up some honey syrup. This could take a bit. What do we got? Fresh juice! 5 HFP and cures poison. It seems like this is just a straight upgrade for all your items. So long as you're willing to wait. Alright, what what happens to the fire flower? Careful, this seems like a really good way to, like, burn down your kitchen. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you like this, but go on, take it. Spicy soup. Uh, replenishes 4 HP and 4 FP. Oh, cool. Okay, well, less uh, offensive capability than it used to have, but pretty cool. Might go buy another fire flower. Those are handy in a pinch. When you get to a battle, you just aren't feeling like doing, you know. Neat. Okay, well, let's see what's over here. Ooh, there's a whole part of town they were just blockading. Hello. Ah, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. Yeah, I quite like it myself. It's a much bigger town than I realized. Don Pianta? Are you kidding? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet him, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really want to see him, ask the Robo boss on the east side about him. Yeah, I bet Ishnael will know how to get in touch with Don Pianta. Oh, is that something? You know, maybe it might make a little more sense for me to... Well, I have to talk to you. Look at you. dum da da dum dum do Every day is a lucky day with Happy Lucky Lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Oh, tell me more. That's the way. Happy Lucky Lottery is so special. You pick numbers, they might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your numbers come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number's drawn each night at midnight. If you pay or play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. So go ahead, buy a number. Only 10 coins for new customers. Who wouldn't buy one for 10 coins? Oh, you make a good sales pitch. I'm in. Oh, happy. Thank you. Here's your number. 0564. You could use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and check the board right now. See if you've won. Well, I, I will. Jackpot, all numbers match. Second prize, three numbers match. Third prize, two numbers match. Fourth prize, one number. Today's winning number. Uh, well, we got one. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches today. But wait, I have one. But the five. Come again tomorrow. Well, I'll be checking this once a week, I guess. <laughs> Just in case it's necessary for things moving forward, let's go ahead and turn in our uh, Crystal Star. Talk to Frankly. Because I feel like we're going to need to do a little town wandering. 
after that, regardless. Here we are. And here we go. Uh, go for it, Barrio. Break out the crystal star. Don't mind if I do. Looks fun. Our course is set then. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Cool. The next crystal star showed up on the map. Hey, but is it me or is it up at the sky or something? Uh, what could that mean? Let's consult our chief thinkologist. Small old Goomba. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. But, um, why would they need to seal the treasure away in the first place? You think maybe they just wanted to protect it from thieves and robbers? No, that's not... That's not what? I don't know! Well, Professor Frankly. I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is no one's even, uh, even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All it's written is this. Darkness stole the sky, and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more. Assuming we'll just make an... Well, you know the saying. Oh, yeah, right. Anyway, what about the next crystal star? It looks like it's floating on that map. Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fl the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. Um, if it's a floating city, how the heck are we supposed to get there? A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Well, that doesn't sound hard. Anyone can use these channels, right? Right? Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town's under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta syndicate head. Apparently Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Well, hey, that sounds easy. We just have to talk to this Don Pianta person. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta's a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Hmm. Once you get a blimp ticket from Don Pianta on the west side, you can go to Glitzville. Noted. Well, apparently we're gonna need to go over here to get into... Let's finish exploring the west side before we go, uh... To try to see Ishnail and get, um... An audience arranged. Let's also figure out how to get up there. We go to the back side of town, yeah? Because, like, there was some way up. I've gotten up to that second floor before. Maybe I did it by doing going to the other side of town. That might be, actually. Well. Yeah, maybe so. I know I've gotten up there. Is... 
No, no, this is the... This is this. Maybe it was the inn. I feel like the inn had some stairs. Yes! Also some characters. Has anything changed? No? Still singing. Boy, what a place. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, oh, Master Mario! Haven't you found the princess yet? Please don't waste another moment. You must find the princess. You must! I'm trying to, man. So, we got this. Hey, here we go. Yeah, we haven't gone in here at all yet, have we? Oh, hey, you're here. Why are you here? Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. No, no, you're not. You're just... You're not. She has a little red mask. I see. Just the little, like, heart tail. Is what made me think. And the red shoes, but my mistake. A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely House of Badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? I'm buying, probably. What kind of badges interest you? Um, special deals? If you're looking for special deals, you'll find them on that shelf. Otherwise, stand in front of the badge you want and press A. I will. Um, close call P when your ally's in danger. Cause supposed to sometimes miss. Increase attack power by two when Mario's in danger. Drop the damage your ally takes by half when in danger. Deliver damage that pierces enemy defenses. That does seem pretty good. Uh, when close call. A lot of stuff reliant on danger, which I'm not very often anymore, so... This one seems like it's got potential. And only one BP. Pretty good. Um, tell me of other. I like that you can sell as well, that's pretty cool. Oh, you've also just got a ton of others <laughs> that are not on the shelf. The special deals are, I assume, like, temporarily cheaper or something. Power jump. Stomp on a single enemy using lots of attack power. Uh, execute superbly to make enemies sleepy. When your allies attack, sometimes call supposed to miss. More regen. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but regain one FP per attack. That's kind of cool. Get more star power when Mario appeals. Make action commands easy, but earn less star power. Make action commands hard, but earn more star power. Do a first strike to defeat weak foes without battling. Hmm. That seems kind of cool, too. It would take all of my money, though, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll hold off a little bit on that one. I'll try that one, though. It's probably a move that still consumes FP, but... Well, as long as we're talking badges, let's, uh, figure out a situation, because we need to... I still haven't figured out what charge does, but we need to get that freed up. We need 7 BP to spend. Hmm. Don't need close call. Power smash has been quite useful. FP plus would be nice, but... We clearly haven't got that going. Um, well, we haven't got the BP for it. For now, anyway. We could lose Quake Hammer, and that would get us there. We'll do that. Boy, that's expensive, but probably worth it. So yeah, this would take 2 FP. Lets you stomp on a foe with huge power, so... Seems pretty good, though. Piercing Blow could also be really helpful against some enemies. I don't think we're way off of a level. So we'll have some more BP soon. Ooh, well looky here. What's back here? Oh. I thought I'd done something especially clever. Wait. I saw that. I saw that. I saw it. Hee <laughs> hee. So how many of all this stuff is that? So we got five, and it seems like only Dazzle is selling stuff for star pieces, so... We could go pick up another cool badge or two on our way out. But first, 
the west side of town. Hello. Going to the theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been as fun lately since my favorite actress left the stage for good. It's torture for fans like me. Hold on. I might just be able to fix that for you. What do you think now? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Madame Fleury. Eek, I'm such a huge fan. I can't believe I saw you here. Oh, I thought you'd be happy about that. You're welcome. Also, that's cute. Flurry probably enjoyed that as well. Let's explore. There's several doors. Boy. Nice place. Ugh. My wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I wish I could have fun, too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. Hmm. Wait. We gotta be able to become small somehow later. Oh, hello. My mom just plays games all day long. She doesn't even have a job. She never cleans. It's terrible. I mean, the place looks pretty nice. I don't think it needs that much cleaning. Cleaning can be a team effort, you know. Ooh, hello. How's it going? Mind if I join you on your... fainting couch? Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, guess what? I won first prize in the Happy Lucky Lottery today, but... I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh well. I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. So, I'll check in with you in a minute. This looks like another item shop. It is! Ooh, look at you. I love you already. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to Westside Goods. What can I do for you? Um... I'm here to buy things, I guess. If you're shopping, just stand in front of what you want and press A, okay, sweetie pie? You are adorable. Look at you. Okay. Um... Thunderbolt was pretty cool. Makes all enemies dizzy, decreasing their accuracy. Restore 10 HP when Mario or his partner falls. That could be a nice... Like, it could be a nice... Safety thing to have, but we're not getting pushed that hard in combat right now. So, like... Don't know if I want to commit an entire... Inventory slot. Just keeping that around. Uh, electrifies you to damage direct attackers. Could be useful. So could that. I'll have one. Hey, sweetie, looks like to me like you can't carry any more items. Bummer. I'll sell you something after you use, sell, or store some of your things, okay? Sounds like a plan. I did... Cook a lot of things. Let's see. Store booze sheet. Um. Store the regular mushroom as well. I'll have this. And. Well, in case I need an inventory slot free, I'll not pick up that one yet. Okay. Nice to meet you. Actually, hang on. I wish to learn of you. That's Pika, a boo that works at Westside Goods. She's so pretty for a boo. I think her sister's Lala, the boo who works at the Pianta Parlor. Well, I look forward to meeting them too. Thought I saw some, yeah. Sneaky. A new day, a new chance. That's Lucky who runs the Happy Lucky Lottery. He's a real stickler for the rules, so if he catches you cheating... Well, just be careful, Mario. I don't know how you cheat at this. I don't think I saw you earlier. I almost fell down that grate. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to, too. All too well, and I don't want to go there. Interesting. Hmm. Let me hear your opinions of here, Gumbella. 
This is Rogueport's west side. This is totally the friendlier face of Rogueport. Not that it's, you know, a great place to raise a family, but it's good for Rogueport. The corner with the fountain is definitely the most restful spot in Rogueport. This area is controlled by Don Pianta, head of the Pianta Syndicate. Yeah, the shop and parlor here are totally fronts for his business. You know, I did get that vibe, and there is very something about a Pianta Mafia. Just inherently. What's back here? Oh, this is where we're going to go on a little flight, isn't it? This blip goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? No, I need a ticket, I guess. We look forward to your next flight on cheap blimps. <laughs> well, hello. I tell you, I just like standing here gazing at the train more than I'd like riding it. Because if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, looking at it's better. But if I could just afford a ticket, I might ride it once. This train's bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Nah. I hope you'll consider us for your future travel options, sir. Ah, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all. I just love it. Trains really inspire people in this town. So, what's your deal? The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. Noted. <laughs> well, that's just a Game Boy. Hello. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My family's worried about me. Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. They're all so independent. They're happiest doing their own things. Um, Hello. Psst. This place is run by Don Pianta. You can play fun games in here and win Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. I mean, I'll try. Hello. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, 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 you're Mario. Like, the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So, what can I show you? Um, You can trade in the Piantas you've won for prizes. And some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Cake mix. Probably good for the chef. Super shroom I've seen. Super appeal. Get more star power in Mario appeals or refund. Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. That's kind of cool too. So how... Oh, that's too bad. Come back if you decide to trade in for something. How difficult is it to win things? You have no piantas. Get some piantas first. Oh. Um... I am the Pianta Changer Changing Machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three coins. Want to exchange? I'll have five. BB dot BB, exchange complete. Want to exchange more? Thank you very much. Come again. Kind of intimidating. Try the slats. Is that good? It is good. Look at us. There, I'll try one other one. Dang. I'm pretty good. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. What's that now? You want to know how to get a member's card, do you? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. Noted. This is the scoreboard. Choose a score to check. The plane game, the paper game, the tube game, or the boat game. Um, oh, there's a lot more games than I realized. Hmm. Let's go looking around. I assume there is more to your parlor than... than this, uh... location. The other games... No? Huh. I'll have the cake mix, please. It's a weird thing for y'all to offer a surprise. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, that was fun. 
Or not. I'll hold three piantas for you, Mario. Oh, of course. That makes sense. So, um... I was led to believe there were other games with scoreboards and whatnot. Hmm. Well, perhaps it's time to go see Ishnail. Let's -a go. Actually, before we even go in there, I want to see what else we can get from Dazzle, because I'm kind of getting the sense we're not going to go back down here before we head out. Looks like our path to our next destination is not through here. So. We have six. Uh, never succumb to first strike. When Mario's attacks on enemies miss. That could be so nice. The happy flower one. That might be what we go for. That'd be so worth saving up for too, but I bet they cost really like a lot to equip. Yeah, let's get some FP regen. I know we can't equip it for a bit, but that seems so nice. And then we'll save up for some more of those like really expensive ones. And this only costs two BP, so that's pretty nice too. And I'm getting good at finding these things, so we'll be back. Okay. Ishnail, though. Hello, hello. Whoa, 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 hold up now. If you want to pass through here, you gotta pay ten coins. Which I could do, but folks in comments have said, um... That's not necessary. Apparently, if you... have... Coops... and... Just pick a fight. Um, you can just get through from now on or something. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you could fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Oh, maybe you just wanna have coops around because otherwise, like, you're jumping on a spear. That makes sense. Let's, uh,. Start by doing a normal hammer. And then, ooh, we can try out our new thing. Swap partner, Goombella, and Tattle. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Worth it. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Ow. That do hurt. Well, okay. Yay, so stylish. And you... Get Koops back out here. Koops. Protect Mario from attacks with a giant shell. Sure, let's see it. I think I just missed. Hey! That's kind of cool. I like it. Alright, um... Power smash! Look at our styling moves. And now, a shell toss. It's a good shell. Let's... I'm just curious to see what clock out will do, or like what it looks like. Press A, B, or X, as it appears. Ah. Ah. Immobilize. Movement will be impossible for a while. I think I kind of get it. Okay, for like two turns. Neat. Excuse 
excuse me. Hey. Let's do a hammer. Hey! You can get a lot of stylish <laughs> little bits in one move, it seems like. And we got two points back already. Beautiful. Victory! Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Well, I mean... Did solve it, didn't it? I have yet to be proven wrong. Hey, this area is the turf of Ishni on the Robo Band of Thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in a back alley that few people can spot. I have an idea. So I've been thinking, and I think I want to meet the Robo boss just once. Thing is, I have no idea where the thieves' hideout's located. None. Rumor has it there's a secret passageway around here, but where could someone fit? Oh, I do have an idea. Hmm. Also curious about that, but... Let's go ahead and examine the secret passage. Hello? Who, me? My name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called the completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of the Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology and I'm now an amazing thief. Ha 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 ha! Ah, glad you turned your life around. Hello? Um, Ishnail, I presume? You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. What's that? You want to meet that lion, cheating, stealing, no good, jerky for brains Don Pianta? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk. But it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budging on the price. Not a single coin. Inside info's pricey. Them's the breaks. Okay, I'll pay. You, you'll pay? Really? Uh... No... What? Are you gonna pay me or are you not gonna pay me? Make up your mind. Come back once you get more priorities straight. More your priorities straight, chumpy. Chumpy. Hurtful. How are we on money anyway? Oh, yeah, I don't even have that kind of money. Well, dang. I guess I need to make some money. Hmm. What? You gotta be kidding me. I'm, am I hearing you right? I could have sworn you said you really want me to tell you how to meet Don Bianta. The scum of the earth. Fine. What? Okay, fine. I get it. Don't want to pay, huh? Fine. No pay, no way, I say. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. Oh, fine. Hmm. Guess I need to sell a few things. Oh. I was just trying to... Hey, there's another one up there. How do I... Hmm. Looks like maybe I need to make some money. Perhaps I'll go fight some things. It's time for the episode to wrap up anyway. I'll go fight some things. Make us some money. This wall looks weird. This wall is weird. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll conk you. Um, hello? Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places, yeah. I think in my past life I was mold or a potato bug or something. Yeah, neat. You know it's neat because I just love places that are dark and moist. I don't like you. I'm going to go. Hmm. 
<laughs> Where am I? Well, had to try. Well, that was neat. But I'm still poor, and I need $64 to pay for information on the mob boss. So, maybe I'll go and find some things to fight somewhere. And, uh, when we return on Wednesday, we will pay for information and get ourselves a meeting with Don Pianta. Sound good? Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you Wednesday. Bye!